Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is just a little bit of a discussion and also trying to get what you guys think about the current situation surrounding Nathan Broadhead. So of course Nathan Broadhead has been pretty much the uh, the topic of conversation since pretty much the 90th minute of the final whistle after Wembley. Of course that, uh, that league won a uh, playoff final win. Everyone's been waiting to see if we're going to be getting Nathan Broadhead. Apparently there has been an offer sat on the table for quite some time. But now I just thought I'd give you an update on what has been going on and what is believed to have been going on and give you my thoughts on it. And then again, it'll be very interesting to see what you guys think in the comments down below. So, since the end of last season, apparently we did quite quickly go in with an offer for Nathan Broadhead. Whether that's going to be another loan or it's going to be a, a, a purchase offer. I'm not too sure. I believe he only has one year left in his contract anyway. So I'm guessing it would have been a purchase. It would have been a, a permanent offer. You know, to loan him for the, his last season, Everton to just let him go. I can't see that really being the case or letting them, you know, letting that they wouldn't really want that to fly, which is perfectly understandable. But news has been coming out, sort of rumoured around yesterday from some half-decent sources around Everton anyway. Apparently... He has been offered a new deal at Everton. Now, what do I think about this? So, Nathan Broadhead is 24 years of age. He didn't get one minute playing time throughout uh, pre-season with Everton. So, they have shown a distinct lack of trust in him. A distinct lack of belief in him. Now, if he signs that contract, if it is to be true, he is an absolute mug. And not in, that, in a sort of sour way, in a mug type of way in which he's been shown nothing but, you know, what's the, what's the word? Well, he hasn't been shown any faith and no faith from Everton has been put in Nathan Broadhead whatsoever. And that's fair enough. If, if Everton just simply don't believe that he is good enough to break into that Everton 11 or, L or Everton squad, which personally I don't think he is good enough to break into that Everton squad, despite what other people may or may not think, he isn't. Um, you know, why would they offer him a contract? You know, he, he, I don't know why he would want to accept that, you know. So I think that the only reason, the only logical reason they want to keep on a contract is to extend that one year deal is currently on, maybe another couple of years or something. So then we would have to shed out the big bucks to get him. Now, the thing is, I don't think that would be worth it, even just for Everton's sake, because yes, they didn't have a great season last season, Everton, but they do have money behind them, they absolutely have money behind them. And I can't see them wanting an absolute load for Broadhead anyway, particularly with him only having a year left. And even if he did have an extra couple of years on him, you know, it's not like he's a 19-year-old, he's a 24-year-old lad. He needs to be playing week in, week out at a home, at a place where he's wanted and he's loved. And he would get that at Sunderland. Whereas with Everton, like I say, and I keep on repeating myself, they've shown no faith in him. They haven't played him at all throughout pre-season. Lampard apparently said they wanted to see what he's all about. And he wasn't even getting in the squad half the time. And then when he, if, he, if he was, he wasn't getting on the pitch at all. So we've got, had no minutes in pre-season whatsoever. So, um, so, yeah, I just don't buy into the fact that they would want to give him the contract, then set, sell him on at a higher price. Because I don't really think the price would be that high anyway, or at least worth it enough for them to mess around that much just to get an extra couple of million, if that makes sense. You know, if I had to value Nathan Broadhead, I can't, you know, if you think Jack Clark... I think he's rumoured to be going up to around eight million. The amount we've almost spent on him, or at least if that's with add-ons and stuff with that, that as well, and that's for a young Jack Clark. You know, Nathan Broadhead is twenty-four years of age now. He's been somewhat injury-prone. I, I, I would say probably about three, four million for him. Maybe you know, I could be completely way off there. If that though, because like I say, he only has a year left as well, which really does bring down the value of Nathan Broadhead. That doesn't mean I don't value him highly because I do, and I think he's absolutely worth it. But would it be worth it? Here's my sort of question, and I'm posing to you and I'm posing to myself here. Would it be worth it still going for him if he is to sign that contract? If he is to sign that contract to Everton and then the only one to do a loan deal, for me, I think it's time to say goodbye to the prospect of Nathan Broadhead. Because yes, he was fantastic for us in League One. Yes, he had his injury problems. But when he did play, you could see he was absolutely a championship quality player. 100% in my eyes, I believe that. But, you know, sometimes you need to put the club first. And Nathan Broadhead, you know, I just don't think it'd be worth the fuss of going for another loan. I don't want to clog up, you know, the loans. We've already got Ellis Sims on loan. Don't want another striker on loan. I want someone who's going to be around for a long term. You know, Ellis Sims, like I say, is a fantastic signing on loan. Nathan Broadhead, for me, it's either permanent or it's nothing. 
And if he is to sign a contract to Everton, I would leave it and I would look elsewhere per personally. But that, again, is just my opinion. And I'd be very, very interested to see what you guys think in the comments. Because there's a few different outcomes, like I say. You know, he might reject a contract, if it is to be true anyway. He might reject a contract to Everton and then decide, right, okay, there's an offer on the table from Sunderland. Accept it, I'm going to go for that. Or he could accept the contract and then Everton will be willing to go negotiate with us at a much higher price than we originally believed was um, believed was appropriate for Nathan Broadhead. Which I just don't think we should do that. We shouldn't waste our time and we would have to look and explore elsewhere. So, yes, yeah, so that, that's pretty much at the moment what is going on. It is he really believed and heavily believed that Everton have offered him a new contract. Which, again, for me, it just screams, you know, either we want more money or... It's a bit, a bit of desperation there. If it is true, I, I just don't understand it. That just, it's just what baffles me. Lampard wanted to see him. He's chose to not play him at all throughout pre-season. And now they're potentially offering him a new contract. It makes zero sense to me. And, you know, there's been a lot of rumours as well <clears throat> around Broadhead. Because his, I believe it's his mum. He's it, been liking quite a lot of Sunderland-related stuff recently. But I don't buy into that stuff too much. Because, you know, I know he had a good time with Sunderland. You know, and, he, and his family, his mum as well has only spoke very highly and positively of his time at Sunderland. So, of course, she's going to like Sunderland things. Or whenever anyone mentions anything about Nathan Broadhead, she's going to like it because it's her son. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean he's literally sat with her now, signing a contract with Sunderland. So I won't think too much into things like that. But, uh, but yeah, so for me, if he signs this deal at Everton, if that deal is real anyway, I would leave it. I would leave it. I wouldn't waste... Obviously, that's not a waste of money... But it, it would just be completely done over if that's the case. And surely Nathan would have more morals to himself to sign a deal purely so his team, Everton, who clearly aren't showing faith in him, just doing all that for them, just so they could get a bit more money. And you'd think they'd have a little bit more sort of self-respect, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll have to wait and see anyway, guys. So for me, if he doesn't sign the contract and he accepts with Sunderland, take it. I'm 100%. I'd love to see him back. I'd absolutely love to. I think he, he offers so much more. He, he offers loads. He offers something different to what we've already got. Uh, and, and I really, really like him. If he signs a deal with Everton, no. But yeah, so I've just repeated myself for pretty much seven or eight minutes there, haven't I? <laughs> but I just wanted to see, like I say, I wanted to see what you guys think about this as well. Because I know that some people, it's just diehard, broadhead, whatever happens, go get him. Even if he signs the contract with Everton, go get him, you know, whatever whatever the cost. But for me, I just think we need to be more clever. We've done it in the past where, we, you know, so many times with our transfer process or the way in which we do work our transfers We've absolutely done ourselves into the ground because we buy plays for the sake of it or we throw cash at the wall at plays that don't necessarily need to be thrown out. And I think we need to look after ourselves first and think about the club at first rather than other players when we bring them in, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, you guys, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think we should do with Broadhead uh, in different scenarios. You know, would you still go for him if he does sign a contract to Evan or would, or would you be quite happy to move on and look elsewhere? Let me know. But that is a sort of update, a little update on uh, Nathan Broadhead at the moment. But if you have enjoyed, of course, like, subscribe to the channel. We're just past 15,000 and growing. So if you watch these videos, you want to keep on seeing updates, reviews, previews to games, then this is the place to be. But either way, take care and stay jamming.